Hi, this is Dustine from Two Lucky Cats, and I'm going to show you today how to make a butterfly barrette. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you that uh, I did use a finding that's for a, po uh, a making a ponytail, and if you have very fine hair, uh, you may want to uh, use a finding like this uh, because I made this for my daughter. Uh, who works uh, part-time in the butterfly exhibit at the Academy of Natural Sciences and she wanted something to hold her hair back because it gets very hot and humid in there for the butterflies but uh, when we tried to put this in her hair it slid right out because she has very fine hair so we tried this and I think that this is going to work so if you have the same problem you may want to try one of these I tried this in my hair and I have thicker hair so it worked just fine all right, so go to our website and get the uh, the pattern and the information sheet. And when you have all the pieces cut out, we'll do the next step. All right, and now um, if you cut all your pieces out, you should have two strips, two leaves, and then two uh, sets of petals for each flower and your butterfly. And then the four pieces that uh, go on uh, your butterfly. All right, so... Uh, the first thing that we want to do, we're going to sew the flowers and the leaves on to this strip. And this strip uh, it is going to hold all the decorative pieces like the, uh, the flowers and the butterfly. So um, you just want to take your flowers and position them, leave about maybe a, a quarter of an inch on the edge so you can put your, or your uh, leaves on. So just position it like that and then uh, just you're going to hold it in place with uh, the small seed beads and you just pick them up and then put about I don't know four or five on here to hold out the flower <laughs> On to the band. So once you've done that, there we go. And I'm just going to knot that off so you don't have to watch me sewing. There we go. Now, once you do that, then the next step is to position the leaf underneath the flower and just attach it using a running stitch. All right, once you do that with the other side, put the other flower on and the other leaf. All right, now I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, decorate the butterfly. Now I've taken one of these little pieces that look like a heart shape and I've uh, used my disappearing marker and made three lines so I make sure that uh, my stitches are going in the right direction. And I just come through from the bottom and then I'm going to take one of these uh, small seed beads and put it right here at the, uh, the bottom of the heart. Then I'm just going to make a running stitch. Um, if you can see this here, I'm going to running, do the running stitch. And this is for de decorative purposes, but it also holds the, uh, the little piece to the uh, butterfly. And let me just go down here. And I want to show you once I get to the end here on the other side of this piece, I'm going to put a bead at the end. A little bead right there. So you can see. Now I'm going to do the stitches back again over the stitches I already made. And then I'll go down here, do the same thing, put a bead and go down here and put a bead right here. 
And that's the way I'm going to attach all of the pieces. Uh, as you can see, the pieces, it goes like this, because the longer uh, end goes here. And again, I'll just draw in the lines, like this, and with a running stitch. Start with a bead, and then do the stitches down here, put a bead, and then come back and do the same thing for all the different stitches until you've attached uh, all the pieces. Oops goes this way and then put the top in. The bigger piece of the heart goes here to the bigger piece up here to the top of the butterfly. Now when you have this done you're going to take your butterfly and I'll just pretend this is decorated and put this in the center and again I just drew a line down the center and then uh, the butterfly is a little bit bigger uh, than the band here center it where you want it to be and then just start stitching. I usually what I did is start right about here and then go forward put a bead in and then started stitching down here. When I got to the end I would just uh, go around and put another bead and then come back here uh, to the band and uh, knot it off. So then you have your band all decorated. Now what you're going to do now is um, attach the other band. Now, this isn't absolutely necessary but it just gives more body to your uh, decoration. Uh, attach it with the overcast stitch around the edges and then you're going to attach everything onto this band. Now I'm just going to demonstrate how to sew it on with this because you be, should be able to see it without everything else in the way. And it's the same way that you attach this. Both of them have a hole, but it's a little bit harder to get to it. Let me show you here. Open this up. See there's a hole here and there's a hole over here. So the way we're going to do this is go in from the side and I'm just going to show you with this uh, with purple thread here because you'll be able to see it better because it's a contrasting color. We're going to come in, center it where you want it to be, and then just come in from the side. Now if you're using this, you can always do this on the end, but in this barrette it's just really difficult to do it from the end. So you're going to have to uh, stitch it from the side. So I'll show you how to do that. Oops. I have this bead on here. That's not going to work. Okay, let's start this again. Put this like this and then bring your stitch in through the hole. There we go. And then just come up and make your stitches um, through the side and then when you've made several stitches the other way then just come around and make your stitches in, uh, from the other side through the hole there we go and once you have made enough stitches to secure it then just uh, knot it off and go down and do the other side the same way but when you're getting ready to stitch that make sure that you pull um, the piece tight so you don't have a lot of give here in the center so that's all there is to making a butterfly barrette I hope you enjoyed making the butterfly uh, barrette. I'm working on a lot of projects, so come back often and see uh, what projects that you can do with us here at uh, twoluckycats.com. Hope you come back again soon.